Good morning, everybody. And thank you for joining today's webinar. So this webinar, we, we are going to talk about NetFlow Analyzer and operator integration that we have recently released. So I will be discussing on what are the new features and new options that we, we have integrated with the operators in the Analyzer application in today's webinar. So to start with, to start with uh, I will introduce myself. So my name is Arvind Lennon, and I am working as a senior technical consultant in Manage Engine, and I have an experience of six years uh, in Manage Engine, uh, and I'm working with the Netflowizer application uh, for all my experience. So I will be presenting today's webinar on the integration of operators with Netflow Analyzer. I hope you can see my screen clearly and you can hear me in case if you have any problem in hearing or if you can hear me clearly, you can just confirm in the chat panel so that after certain confirmations, I can start presenting today's webinar. So I'll just wait for uh, two seconds, I'll wait for your confirmation uh, that you can hear me and you can see my screen. And once I get that, I'll proceed with the presentation. Thank you for the confirmation. I have got enough confirmation. So I think we can proceed. So let's start with the today's agenda. So what we are going to see in uh, today's webinar session. So we will be talking about basics of Netronalyzer. I'll just give you an introduction of what Netronalyzer is. And same way, we will talk about what Orbitals is and what is the basic of Orbitals and what is mainly it is used for. And then we will be talking of uh, talking about the advantage of this integration that we have released uh, and how it comes out in the application. And finally, we'll finish up with the summary. So basically, uh, what is Netronalyzer and of So when we talk about uh, as an enterprise network perspective, Net analyzer and operators are one of the main tools which will be helpful for any administrator to manage as well as to troubleshoot network issues. Wherein Net analyzer is a real time bandwidth come traffic analytics tool which can give you uh, the details about and visibility on your network bandwidth and give you details on your top talkers who are utilizing the bandwidth and creating problems. Same thing. Operators, which basically constitutes of two products or two models, we can say, which is IP address management and switch port management. So these two or uh, the modules that we have within Operators product gives us or gives administrators a great deal of control and uh, visibility in their IP subnet uh, configuration as well as on the switch ports and how the switch ports are actively being used so these two together gives us the advantage over the complete uh, network infrastructure where we can easily identify and troubleshoot a network issue so let's quickly jump in uh, to what we have in netronalyzer before integration so as i mentioned and as you know netronalyzer basically is in bandwidth traffic analytics tool it's a flow based monitoring tool which uh, can understand any different kind of flow format like net flow s flow j flow ipfx and etc uh, if a network device like a router switch firewalls or a vmware distributed switch uh, if any of your network device uh, can support flow export it can be monitored in net flow analyzer with the flow options and when we talk about the flows we get the detailed information on bandwidth utilization that is we give you the detailed information on which application I'm 
I'm sorry. Uh, so there was a slight disconnection. I think you can hear me now. So as uh, I was mentioning, so in next one like that, uh, we show you the detailed information about the application utilization, uh, source, who is the utilizing maximum bandwidth, destination, and much more additional information like N bar. like NBAR, uh, CBQOS, uh, AS information, multicast information, media net, and as such. So these are all the details that we show based on the flows. Let me just quickly show you and take you to the product and give you an idea uh, about the network analyzer application. So as you can see my screen, this is the network analyzer dashboard view, wherein we show you all the detailed information in a quick view. And in the inventory page, we list up all the devices and their interfaces which are exporting the flows and when we drill down to a certain interface and we can get the detailed information specific to an interface or uh, or specific to the device as well wherein you can get the detailed statistics information about the bandwidth and which is we maximum granularity with one minute we show you the top applications source uh, destinations qos conversation for both in and out direction. So this allows us to get into deeper analysis on any bandwidth related issues that can happen in the network. Next, we are going to talk about the IP address management and the switch port management, which is the optutals um, solution that we have integrated with the product. So the first is the IP address management, wherein the IP address management allows us to, or allows an administrator to uh, monitor and manage their subnets, network subnets. So we, you can discover any network subnet in the application, and we identify the information about the used IPs, uh, unused IPs, and the transient state IPs. So these are all the information that we show you and much more based on the connected switch or connected IP on a particular switch on what device is connected to that IP and everything. So let me just show you quickly this module in our product. So now this is uh, the latest version of uh, Netflow Analyzer, wherein we, uh, we have, uh, re where we have released uh, the Optutals integration. So let me just show you the about tab to give you the version idea. So this is 12.5.180. So this is the build number where we have uh, uh, released uh, the integration for the Optutals in the Netronizer application. And you can see now the IPAM tab as a new tab that we have introduced. So this will be like a complete integration of the Optutals product in the Netronalyzer application as we have it in Op Manager as well. So when you click on the uh, IPAM tab, you will get the option to check on the IP address management, wherein we show you the subnet level details and the used subnets and the used IP information based on each subnet that has been added in the Netronalyzer application. And it is shown in the tree view, wherein you can create multiple groups where and you can add subnets on multiple group we have we also support uh, the ipv6 subnet monitoring as well in the product and we can drill down on a specific subnet wherein you can see the details about the used ip and used ips and much more uh, when we are uh, when we are in the real time scenario in these network subnets Next important thing that uh, important module that we have in Optutals integration is the switch port mapping. Switch port mapping is another important management uh, module that we have in the product, which helps us to manage and to see how your network switches and their ports are connected, which IP is connected or which device basically is connected to an each port and all these information that we, we can discover using SNMP and show you in the product, like connected Mac, 
the IP, they interface the, the port details, port IPs, and whether the port is being used or unused or in transient state or it, and how many VLANs are connected, all these. So let me just show you this in the product. So again, in the IPAM tab, you have the switch port mapper where we have can install, we have added certain switches uh, in the Opitals application or the switch port mapper. And when you drill down into a particular switch, you will see the detailed information on how many ports are available in that particular switch, how many are in used state, which one is in available state, and what is the operation status, admin status, and connected MAC IP, connected MAC, connected IP, and we also show you the DNS resolution, if it is connected on a specific VLAN or VLAN ID, what is the VLAN name and the VLAN ID, all this information will be discovered with the help of SNMP discovery. We also show you the port view for each of the devices or switch, uh, switch uh, devices which are connected. So any device which supports the bridge map can be added under the switch port mapper and can be monitored for uh, the available ports and uh, connected devices and other details. And the port view, wherein we show you what are the ports, how many ports are there in that switch, what are available and what are not available based on the color codes. So let's uh, just see on a different device wherein we can show you wherein more ports are there and where you can see uh, in, in this switch particularly, you have this uh, port view where you have multiple ports and which are all available at the moment. And if you have connected any particular device on a particular port, those ports will be identified as used ports and others will be shown as based on their status. So for all this, uh, we have the options and the settings under the settings tab in the NetFluenalyzer itself. And we have the integration under Oputils, wherein you have the option to add routers or any network layer three devices, which helps us to fetch the MAC address information uh, in the product to identify uh, your uh, different MAC details and connected IP details and connected MAC addresses in the switch. We also have the option to monitor the Active Directory devices, Active Directory in the product, wherein we show you the detailed information about what is the lease of a particular IP subnet uh, when it's getting uh, when it's when that particular IP is getting expired and all this information. So currently we only support Windows Active Directory. And when we talk about uh, specific settings uh, to IP address management and support management, we have uh, common uh, options where in gen uh, general we have the general settings. We have the option to schedule the schedule scanning of the IP addresses, or we can schedule the uh, scans uh, so that you can, whenever we scan the subnet or a switch port, we get the latest status for that specific category. All right. So the next important thing that we have in the Opitals monitoring solution and the, or the management solution, we can say, is the rogue detection feature. And this is one of the important feature that we highlight in Opital's uh, monitoring solution, wherein we identify the rogue devices, uh, rogue device uh, intrusions and block their access. You can also block the ports on which you have connected, where the device is connected and using uh, the management level feature that we have on your switch ports using the help of SNMP. So let me just quickly show you the rogue detection detail in the product. So under IPAM again, you have the rogue detection option. So in rogue detection, we discover with the help, whatever the MAC the information that we have discovered with the help of the IP address management and the switch port management, everything will be, uh, will be available in our product and we categorize it in the rogue detection under the discovered MAC device, MAC information details, wherein uh, we select the devices which are already available uh, by certain means in the 
uh, operators uh, or in the using the IP address management and switch port management for which we have the information that it's connected to a particular switch, that particular MAC addresses and particular switch uh, wherein uh, that particular switch is connected or to, uh, or it is a certain uh, server which is connected to that switch. So we will have this information discovered during uh, all this MAC address discovery in the IP address management and the switch port management itself. So once we know that it's already available in your network, we will mark those subnet as trusted. That's, that means these are already trusted devices in your network. Also, we have allow you the option to select or to mark any of your uh, any of the discovered MAC uh, that has been uh, available in the product as uh, either trusted or as rogue or as a guest as well so for example uh, if you have any guest gets uh, coming in your network uh, and you know that there are these uh, their devices are going to be connected in your network so you can for possibly you can select them uh, select their status as guest for certain time period and once that time period expires they will be again directed as rogue like that Right. So these are all the options that we have wherein you can select the devices in rogue so that you can identify the, that you can know so these are all the undefined rogue devices that are in, available in your network and that you have to take action on them. So next important uh, part that we have in Opital's uh, management system is the reports. We have uh, predefined reports a lot of predefined reports in uh, operators management both for uh, the switch port as well as the uh, ip address management solution and it these can be accessed from the reports tab when you click on the reports we have the list of reports that is available under operators likewise like used uh, ip addresses uh, reverse static ip addresses we have the information about the uh, switches by their usage you can drill down on these details as well to get into the port level information on when we are in the reports and all the reports can be exported in a csv or pdf uh, format and also it can be scheduled to be generated as a report as well also we have the dashboard view available as in for the operators or IPAM solution. Uh, so in the product, when you're in the dashboard view, we have the default dashboard selected as the uh, default dashboards available for the Netflow Analyzer application. And we have the other uh, dashboards, the well-known dashboards that we have in the product are application QoS WAN, which gives us the information, detailed information based on application QoS or uh, the IPSLA or WLC. Uh, same way, we have the dashboard view for the IPAM and SPAM and the rogue detection as well, which will give you the detailed uh, quick view of what is happening from your network or on your switch ports in a, uh, in a budget based information. And also we allow you to create your custom dashboards with the uh, dashboard widgets available for IPAM. So when you click on the add option, add dashboard option here, you have to just provide a dashboard name click on next and if you see you can you have the widget selection option for the netflow as well as operators and ncm you can integrate or combine the widgets of multiple modules that we have within the product and create it as a single dashboard and monitor it as well The next important thing that we all want to see is why this integration is required and what are the information, what is the new information that we show you with this integration in Netflow Analyzer. So the one of the best information that we have discovered in Netflow or that we have integrated in Netflow Analyzer is the switch, the port level information and the switch details. Whenever a customer or, uh, or administrator is monitoring a particular switching switching device or any device which supports bridge map in the net analyzer application it can be added in the operators module as well and if it is available in operators module you get the detailed information 
as I have shown you in this specific screenshot. As you can see, uh, we show you the complete device summary with the with the description, the MAC address detail. We also show you what was the uh, system uptime uh, and what is the lo system location if we can get it from the uh, SNMP. Not only that, we integrate the uh, port view within the summary page for a specific device and also for each ports like the switch ports what is their administrative administrative status operation status what are their if alias if description and uh, if type if speed all this information will be uh, fetched for all the ports and only the ports which are being monitored within the net finalizer will be shown as hyperlink which you can drill down and get into the interface view so let me just quickly show you this details in the product so when you're in the net finalizer under inventory, you will see uh, the devices that are added in the net finalizer application, as well as you have to make sure that the switch that you have monitoring should be added under the switch port mapper as well. So if it's added in both the location, you will be able to see the detailed summary view for each of the switch. So when you click on a particular device, it will directly take you to the summary view wherein in the summary view we show you the details about the switch and the port levels so what are in the port we show you as i shown in the screenshot we show you all these details also we have the option to sh uh, we, we show you the connection information details like which mac address is connected to that that specific port uh, what is the ip address of uh, where is the ip address which is connected to that port dns name vlan id vlan name device type and their physical location, if you can get it from the SNM. So all this information will be available in a single view. So, and you can, uh, as I mentioned, you can drill down to an interface view just by clicking on the hyperlink and it will take you to the interface view, uh, wherein you can drill down to details about the traffic application source destination. So this is uh, the uh, one of the important integration that, uh, that we have done within the net analyzer using the optutals uh, information that we collect in the product which will help network administrator to get the status first previously we uh, were not showing uh, the operation status or the administrative status or the the switch port level information the up and uh, up and down information for a specific switch in the summary page or an overview page now uh, uh, with this integration we are able to have those information we can take that advantage of those information within the net analyzer application for deeper bandwidth analysis same way uh, we have also from the latest version we have also uh, changed uh, the interface uh, view as well uh, wherein we show you the interface and for each interface we show you the uh, summary of that specific port as uh, i have shown you here so when you click on that, you will see the detailed summary of uh, that uh, specific interface, which is being monitored in net analyzer application with the additional details, uh, like uh, if MTU, the, the IF index in information of a specific port, if name, if alias, uh, if speed of that specific port, all these information. And we, even if you have any connected IP or connected Mac, uh, if it's connected to a specific VLAN, all this information will be available for the specific port in this summary view itself. So whenever uh, you administrator want, have identified that there is certain slowness in the network, they can just come into the net analyzer application, drill down to a specific interface, and they will be able to see the port level, all the port level information and what is connected and what is not connected on that specific switch, uh, specific switch port, and then get uh, deeper drill down into what are the IPs being utilized, uh, the maximum bandwidth with the help of conversation and other information that we have. Okay, so let's uh, talk about the advantages that we get with this integration. So there are many advantages. So we have listed a few of the advantages here, wherein we can manage the switch ports and the IP addresses in real time with the help of the switch port mapping and the IP address management modules. 
we get the detailed insight into the network ports as i have shown you in the product like wherein we get the detailed idea of the connected ips and connected mac on a specific switch port previously which was not available as in by default and also we get the the, the option to inspect the ip addresses more precisely with the with this with the help of um, the ip address management and to know their characteristics and where it is connected uh, how your network topology is it gives you an uh, a idea on how to proceed to solve a specific issue so the supported edition where we have released uh, this feature in netronizer application is for both Netronizer Essential as well as the Netronizer Enterprise Edition from the build 12.5.179. So anything from 12.5.179 and above will have the option of Oputils available in the product for both uh, Essential Edition as well as the Enterprise Editions of NetFlow Analyzer. Also, uh, I want to give you an idea about how the licensing will be for the IPAM in the Netronizer application. So you can purchase any number of, like if, uh, if a customer want to purchase this uh, module, you can purchase any number of IPs, uh, which is the licensing is based specifically based on used IPs and the used ports. So when we talk about the switch, uh, IP address management, the licensing will be based on not the complete IP range, it will be only based on the used IPs. Same way for the switch ports, it will be based on the, not the available port, only the switch ports. So this is the default licensing option that we have for the Opuitals uh, monitoring solution. If it has not been purchased and if it is being used as a free module uh, in the product, then we restrict or we can then we allow the prospects to use uh, the IP address, the 50 used IPs, they can manage 50 used IPs and 51 used ports as in complementary that we provide for each modules. So 50 used IPs and 51 used ports, wherein the used IP, the complementary that we provide that 50 uh, customer can only manage or we allow to manage only one class C subnet, which is less than 254 IPs only one class C subnet can be uh, managed for the 50 IPs uh, that we provide as in complementary within the product. And for the 51 used ports, it can be any uh, port. Like you can even, uh, we have the option to manage and unmanage for the switch port mapping. So even if you can monitor 51 ports from 51 different switches as well. So that is, there is no restrictions on the 51 used ports but there is a restriction in uh, the IP address management wherein we allow to, uh, for the complementary option, we allow to monitor only 50 used IPs from one class C subnet. Finally, the summary of this webinar that I want to conclude is like with the IPAM and the switch port mapping uh, integration in Netflowizer, we can product proactively monitor the IPs and the port level details precisely. And also this integration helps the administrator to narrow down the network issues faster. So uh, that's what we have seen till now. So this is the basic idea for the integration is to give a better visibility into the network architecture with the help of Opuitals and deeper visibility in the network bandwidth behaviors with the help of Netronalyzer. So when this two comes together, it gives a deeper visibility on all over the network and allows the administrator to narrow down the issue and fix the issue faster. I hope the session was helpful. If you have any questions, you can put it in the chat panel right now. And I, I can get back to you with the answers for the questions that you have. So I'm waiting for your questions. If you have any questions, you can even, uh, you can send it uh, to the netronizer-support at manageengine.com and we will be happy to assist you anytime. And also you can, uh, if you want the answer immediately, you can put, put it in your chat panels. 
Uh, if not, we will be closing the session soon. So I will be just waiting for two minutes for the questions. All right, thank you for your time today. I hope this session was helpful and you got a detailed idea on uh, the integration that we have introduced within the Netronalyzer and it will be helpful for many of the customers and the prospects uh, in the future. So you can let us know in case if you have any doubts or any questions regarding this integration and we are always ready to help you out. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your patience and be safe. Have a nice day.